Hey guys, I wanted to show you some more cards with some different stamps and dies and things like that from the new mini catalog that you can order from on August 3rd. This one is the Painted Christmas Suite, which is on page 16 and 17, and also 18 and 19, where they show you the stamps um, in their, you know, in their actual size. Um, you saw that I used the paper on, um, let's see, I think I got those sitting around a little bit. Yep. I used the paper on this card, different stamps and stuff, but that's the paper. Um, and then the one with the bird, that's the paper from, from right here too. Um, but this time I wanted to show you the Christmas season bundle and the Christmas to remember bundle, which are these two things. If you order the suite, as it shows you, if you order the suite, you get all of this. You get both um, stamp set, both stamp sets and both dies. These um, really pretty, which I used that on something to, I, oh, in that first card I showed you. Uh, flower or leaves, the real pretty ribbon, and then the really good paper. If you or, if you order the bundle, you get all of that. It's one hundred and forty one twenty five. So also don't forget celebration starts. So if you order this, you do order another eight dollars and seventy five cents. You're going to get three different things, or two things depending on if you get the one of the hundred dollar. Um, free celebration things, or you get three of the $50 free, three of the $50 celebration things. So um, that's up to you. There's lots of good stuff in there. But here's the cards I wanted to show you. These three right here. Um, I made those in the last couple days. If you look, this one right here, this is the Christmas to Remember bundle. You get this stamp set, which I've used several times. Um, and then you get these dies, which I love dies like this. It was kind of like what I was showing you the other day. I love the ones that do the back, a, a full background. And this card I made, and this may be one of my favorite cards I've made in a, in a long time. And it was really, 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 really easy. Um, but so I wanted to show you how to use these and what that's like. And then the other one is Christmas season which is this, this is shown at 85%, um, but here's how actually how big they all are. And that comes with these dies. Um, what's funny about these dies is these right here, like the, not the ones for the flower, not for the leaves and the pine cones, cause those all fit what's in here, but those, um, you can fit the sentiments in here inside those. So that's why they kind of put them together. You don't have to buy both of them. You can buy one or the other, but they all work together. So I just wanted to show you a couple of the cards I've made and how I did it. So I'll just start with this one. Again, my one of my favorites. And I'm gonna show you how to die cut this stuff. A little different than the other thing there's no embossing folder to do it with or anything like that for this one i used um, garden green and pear pizzazz for the bat for the leaves um i'll talk about the other stuff this time i'm going to do different colors i'm going to do evening evergreen one of the new in colors and this is old olive so obviously if you look at it this is this is the bigger one you can they do not work together and i'll show you why <laughs> um but you can start with either one this one let's see can you see okay okay i'm gonna do this one first honestly i'll tell you when you do this one and you're going to put it on top of this one um, you may want to use the adhesive sheets. I did not, and it takes a little while to get glue in all those very skinny places. But I don't. I didn't do that, so I'm, I'm once again, I'm, I'm not putting it on adhesive sheets. If I was going to make a bunch of cards or something, I probably would. These are very, very detailed, so um, let's see. Looks like it got it all gonna have to kind of just 
got to be careful because it is, even this one has got lots of skinny places. You can see it's got a lot of parts. Let's get my little mat here and try to Yeah, there they go. My desk is so dirty right now. There are just little pieces of paper everywhere. I cleaned it up somewhat for you guys, but I see now I'm just adding more to it, so I'll clean it later. pieces here but all right and then I'll clean that out later okay and with the next one we're gonna use old olive These, all these um, pieces, the, the pieces of cardstock I'm using, I just have them like I did for the other ones, four and a quarter by five and a half. And just, it could fit into a smaller size, but it just makes it easier. So you're not lining it up, you know, perfectly and running it through there, hoping nothing moves or whatever. So do it one more time it usually it gets it on one especially if you have the adhesive sheets on there though you do need to probably run it through a few times all right let's move this off to the side pieces on there I need to punch out. I don't want to make this video an hour long, so So as you see, it lines up on top of this one. And it's very, like I said, very skinny. So it, especially if you're gluing it down, you gotta just make sure you got it on there just right. And that's why I like to use things like the multi-purpose or whatever, cause then you can move it around. So there you go. See, it would look a little different because it's different colors. Um, but the other thing that they have in the dies are the pine cones. So you can see, well, you can't really see, but you can, on this one, you can see the pine cones. There's three big ones and then there's five little ones. So they give you, um, two of the little ones of each one. They've got a, the under layer and the upper layer. And what I did for mine on this one is I, the under layer, the bottom layer, I used crumb cake. And then I decided I wanted my pine cones to be goldish. 
And I've talked about this before. Let me see if I can get to it. I've got a million things on here. Not that one, not that one. This is all for today. Here we go. Here is the brush metallic cardstock. Um, you get two sheets of each color. It's in um, bronze, copper, and gold. It was in the mini catalog last year. And I'm gonna tell you, okay, here it is right here. I'm gonna show you the three different colors. that you get in it and you get, like I said, two, you get two 12 by 12s of each one. All right, so here you go. Let's see if you can see that. I cannot tell you which one's copper, which one's bronze. I think this one's bronze, I don't know. And which one's gold. I think that's gold. I, I, I couldn't tell you. There might be somebody out there who could tell you, but they're all pretty. So for this one, you can see, this is where I die cut it all. I use this one and then for the um, the sentiment, let's put this all away. This is just really, really pretty paper. I, I love it. I was so glad they brought it back. The sentiment is right here. This is the Christmas to remember. This is part of the two sets and the two die sets that all kind of go together. I did it um, in, I did it on white paper and I did it in um, garden green. And then I die cut it with one of the circles. I use this one. And then the little wreath frame around it, that is this die right here, which is also from this catalog. Let's see if I can get to it. Is this it? It is. This is from the Sparkle of the Season bundle. These are, you get these dies right here and this that was one of them. And I use the same brush metallic paper, whichever color that is. Maybe gold, maybe copper, I don't know. But that's, that's how I did that. And then that's like on dimensionals. But I just, I loved doing that because it just really made the pine cones stand out. And it was, it's a pretty easy card. I mean, this is the only stamping you do on it. The rest of it is die cuts, but you, like I said, you could do it in different colors. Um, you know, depending on what you put on top of it, you may not even see the pine cones. So you may need not to worry about changing how those look or anything, but that's how I wanted to do it. I wanted all of them. One of them's kind of covered up. He's under there a little bit, but um, that's how I did this card. So it's it's really fun to do a card like that. And it the, the whole thing, is, your entire card front is covered with something and it just looks so cool. And I know people who get cards like that, they love touching it and just wondering how it was done. So that was that one. Then I decided that I wanted to do the pine cones and I thought, yeah, and I've talked about it before, I am a Floridian, so we do not have snow, but there are people who have snow and I do have friends and stuff in other states that get snow. So maybe if I want to send them a Christmas card, maybe I'll send them one that has snow on it. So this one, these are the same pine cones as what was used on this. What I did with them is I, the under the bottom layer is with early espresso. And then the top layer I used, you can't, I doubt you can really, maybe you can see it a little bit. It's from this paper. This is from a set that's really, really pretty. And I, and I'm gonna, I'm showing it to you cause I used pretty much everything in it. Let's see. Here it is. This is the peaceful place. Sweet. So right here is the snowy white 12 by 12. They're like velvet. So I even showed this to my husband and he touched it. <laughs> so I think when you send a card, it's, it looks like just like it's just white, but it, it's the snowy white, so it has a feeling to it. It's it's really cool. I also used the DSP in this one from here. 
the ribbon right here. And then if you can see on here, I've got these little like sequins. That's also from this one. Um, the Christmas Blessing, the stamp set is from Happy Holidays. And I embossed, I did it in Versamark and then embossed it with um, silver. And I die cut it with the Tasteful Labels dies. Those are in the main catalog. That's what I did those. And then to make the hills here or the layers of snow, I used a um, die from the main catalog too. And I'll show you, it's this one right here, Inspiring Canopy. This, this is the die right here. So I did that to the snowy white paper. And then I took the Versamark pad and all along the edges, I put Versamark on it. And then I put silver embossing powder on there and heat it up just so they stood out a little more. So that's how I did that one. I, I, you know, I, I do, I like making stuff with snow sometimes, but it's not like it's anything that I, I mean, not that I've never seen snow. I've seen snow many, many times, but it's not, this is not Christmas looking to me, but it's Christmas looking to a lot of people. So, so there's that. Okay. And then my last card, which, um, I just made this like a couple of minutes ago and I got, I got a lot of things to show you about this one. Put these up here so you can still see them. Here's this one. And once again, I did a, a card with a little bit different colors and things like that. I used this stamp set, um, the ones I show you that it's got the matching dies for all of those, but I did not use the matching dies. So I'm gonna show you how I did that and then I'll show you how everything looks in the catalog. Okay, for this one, I just wanted to stamp the leaves and berries and stuff. I didn't wanna die cut them. I just kind of wanted to make my own background paper. Um, so I'm just gonna show you how I did this. This is four by five and a quarter. And what I do, I've already, I still got them on there, but I set this on top of it. And then I start putting the stamps. I only got a few left in here because I used most of them. But looking at the paper below, and then you're putting them on and you know doing it like that so you can see where it's gonna stamp, except that so this, this is how I did this one. And I had it, this is the side up. So this is how I put everything on it. You can see, but when you flip it over, it goes the opposite way, but it still is gonna fit onto the paper, except I had this little space right here. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. Now, the way I did it <coughs> was, I used Blushing Bride, Mint Macaroon, Misty Moonlight, I love that one, and Mossy Meadow. Um, I just took my ink pads and just sort of inked it up. So you can see how the color goes to other ones, which is which is cool, I liked and everything. But I'm gonna try it a different way this time and see how I can, uh, how it'll look when I do it this way. All right, so I got sponge daubers here. Let's see, Blushing Bride, Mint Macaroon, Oh, this is end colors. I need Misty Moonlight. That'll be Misty Moonlight. And then the other three are regular colors. Let's see. Mossy. Let's see. I got this all labeled. I've had this forever. <clears throat> Mint, one, two, three, this is mint. And then Blushing Bride, 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 Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna see how this goes. And I'll try to copy how I did these. All right. I think what it's going to do is it's going to be a lot lighter. OK, 
Okay, that's that color. And I did this one. When you, oh, look at that. See, that one's falling apart. That's why there's all that crap on there. Sorry for my bad word. <clears throat> I think I've told you I've had some of those forever, so I ordered a whole bunch of new ones. Okay. And Misty Moonlight. Did this one. Hope you can see all this. Sponges make it a little easier. <clears throat> I think that's the only one I did in that color. Is that right? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. And then let's do Mossy Meadow. Hope this one stays put. I think that's the only one I did on that. I th think maybe I did this one too. It's it's like both colors, so I'm not sure. And then Blushing Bride. So you can see it. Try not to shake my table too much. Okay. See, once again, it's much lighter, but that's actually really pretty too. Um, and you're not getting the color over to the other side because like I said what I did was I just took my ink pad and like inked up this one and then inked up this one and then you start going and you're just going to get colors coming off and onto other things so using my chamois here I'm going to clean it off and then I'm going to do two more over there I gotta remember which ones they were I think I remember Okay, yeah, I'm doing, oh, look at that. This thing is not that wet, so. Let me go clean this off really good because this is like, if you can see, it's really dried out because I left it not in a closed case, so it starts to dry out. And you just, all you do is put it back in the sink and ink it and water it up again. So hang on. Okay, so, and what you want to make sure is that it's dry too because you're just, you're inking up too, but the other stamps are still going to hit here, so. You don't want them soaking wet. I'm hoping mine are dry. So, okay, so that's how I stamped it first. And then I think I did it like this. Let me try. Let's see, I'm gonna do this one in mint macaroon. No. Hmm. It looks different than what I did before. Not that that's a big deal or anything. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to do it maybe in Mossy Meadow. Because it's not, you can see how dark it is on this one. Mossy Meadow is dark. But when you're using a sponge, it, it lightens up a bit. So, okay, so I'll just start with this one.
Okay, so there's that one. I didn't put this back in the sink and give it more water, but I think it'll be okay on that. All right, so then I can do a little thing here. This looks a little different. I think I'll do those again. And then I'll show you what I'll, I explain how I did the rest of it too. Okay, so there you go. I actually, I, I kind of like that one a little better than the one I did the first time, the one I did about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Okay, so there's that. What I did, there's another um, stamp, oh, there it is, that's in this. It's these little, little dots right here. And what I did, I'm not gonna show you because it'll take forever, but, or not forever, but it's, you know, it's not hard. I stamped it in Versamark in the different spaces. And then I embossed it with silver embossing powder. So that's how I did that. You can see it, see if you can kind of see it there. Um, and then the tree and the happy Christmas. Okay, so let me close these up. I wanted to show you that, you know, I've obviously like with this one, you know, I used totally different paper that doesn't come with, that's not, you know, part of this suite. Um, just showing that you can use it in so many different ways. And this one I used, what you've seen other things I've done with the whimsical trees. Um, Here's Whimsy and Wonder Suite. Um, it's got the stamp set and dies and pretty ribbon and cute little snowflakes and then this really pretty paper. I didn't, all I used was the dies. I didn't use the stamp set or anything. These are the dies right here. And let's see if I can show it to you. If you can see, this tree is not paper. It is this right here, which is the Jolly Felt, which is also in the catalog. It is with the cute, cute stockings with dogs and cats right here. Uh, Jolly Felt, you get it in Bumblebee, Cherry Cobbler, Old Olive, and White. So with, you can see, with this die, I cut it out of this. And then this die right here, which gives you this. I used it with another paper from this catalog. And I'll show it to you too, because, oh man, it's pretty. Here's the silver foil, 12 by 12. You get one of each, brush finish, matte finish, mirrored foil finish. I think I used the mirrored foil. I'll show it to you. Okay, so you get, this is the colors you get. Obviously, you could see where I die cut it to put it on top of it. There's so really, really cool. I don't know if you can really kind of see it, but it's some really pretty paper. So that's what I used for the top. And then the Happy Christmas that, once again, I guess I really like this Happy Holidays. Happy Christmas right there. And I stamped it in Versamark and embossed it with silver embossing powder. And then I die cut it with the rectangle stitch rectangles, which is in the main catalog, which stitch rectangles, I, I tell everybody you got to have those because I use those all the time. Um, so anyway, like you can see the difference. That was just the ink pads put on there. This was with sponge jobbers. So, but I like what I was trying to show you was that you can use, even though they all have die cuts and everything, that took me, you know, just a few minutes. And so you're making your own background paper and you could, you could put something else on here. You don't have to use the tree. You could do, you could do many other things. Um, but so, like I said, the dies are great. Like you see on here. And then the stamps with 
from this because the, these dies are from the other the other one and so <clears throat> let me see they're the dies that coordinate with this one which here we go i still got shrapnel in them but that's okay so these dies were used for this and then and these acorn uh, pine cones and then this one there is see there's dies for all this stuff but you don't always have to use the dies sometimes you can just stamp it and make your own background paper so like everything that's on here has has got a die for it even these little guys um that one has one no yeah see and uh so anyway so and it's got it's got acorns too they're they're different than the other acorns but so if you order the whole bundle then you get all these options you can do so many different things with it and i just like to show that um, even though you got the bundle, doesn't mean you have to make every single card with just that bundle. You can put in other things. You can change the way it looks. I mean, I used it very simply here. Then here I used it with the silver, um, let's see if I can find it. Showed it to you, but I'll just show it to you again. Let's see if I can find it. The Peaceful Place right here used it with that stuff and then this one with the whimsy trees um it's you just give yourself some different options it's always you know it's always fun to have options yeah, or fun to have ideas of using things together like that too so anyway so i just wanted to show you one of the other um things that's coming that you can order from next week and if you have any questions or a lot of times the big dies like that are kind of like, ugh, I don't even know what that means or what to do with it or whatever. So um, I just wanted to show you my ideas for it. If you got any questions or anything like that, you can let me know. Um, like I said, on Tuesday, you get to order from it and don't forget it's celebration. So if, if you order enough, you get free stuff too. Hope everybody has a great day. Talk to you later.